Girls Laboratory is Rachel Nduta, here with one of the lab technicians. Could you please inform us of your name and uh, yes, let's start from there. Okay, thank you. My name is Harry Sonboy. What qualifications does it take for you to become a lab technician? Uh, for you to be a lab technician, you, you choose a career mm -hmm. and then you go to university, you do science laboratory technology, mm -hmm. where you combine all the sciences. You do biology, you do physics, and you do chemistry and a bit of maths. And then you go through a three-year course, mm -hmm. then you can also continue, you can choose to to major in chemistry or biology. But when you have all of them, you can become a lab technician. Okay. My name is Kezia. I teach chemistry at Nembo Girls High School. Uh, to pass chemistry, number one, you must have a positive attitude. And then once you have the positive attitude, you'll be motivated to, to work hard. And for you to be able to pass chemistry, number one priority is to pass in your practical exam. And in the practical exam, it is not as hard as students think, it is the easiest. So the main thing is to observe and you record the right thing and everything becomes well. Number two, to pass chemistry is that you must read. Chemistry is not like theory, therefore you must read daily, you must practice daily and everything becomes easy. In chemistry we do examine paper one, paper two and paper three. Paper three is the chem, uh, chem practical part of it, which is about 40 marks. And for you to be able to get an airplane in chemistry, then it means that you must get 30 over 40 in the practical. So what I encourage my form for goodness girls is that they must do well in their practical exam. And then because they are bright girls, the paper one and paper two is obvious they are going to pass and paper three will be, be automatic pass because even now we are preparing to do our chemistry practical which we do it daily. So with that I encourage my girls to put in more effort and put God first and everything will be okay. Now we are doing a food test on, uh, on uh, starch, producing sugars and proteins. And uh, the key to scoring in examination, given question of food test, it is number one, writing the correct procedure. Number two, identify the correct color changes. And number three, making the correct or the right conclusion of the food tests you are making. So, um that was a nice session and with me is uh, students of Form for Goodness. They are here to do a chemistry practical. Please say hello. Hi. Yes, and that was from us, Nembu Girls High School, um, Dream News, Youth TV. Thank you.